Today, I want to talk monitors, not a specific monitor. I'm actually going to touch on where you can find the information that you want on any commercial monitor that Dell produces. I'm Steve with Dell. No, not that Steve. I'm a client solution specialist. I've been with Dell for about 10 years now, but this is my channel. This is not an official Dell Blue channel. This is a space for me to bring you the information that I think is important and sometimes really hard to find. That being said, I want to talk about monitors. Why do I want to talk about monitors? There's about 70 different commercial monitors in the Dell lineup today. It becomes very, very confusing. There's monitors all the way from the 14 inch portable monitor all the way up to the 86 inch 4K touch display made for the conference rooms. We have aspect ratios that range from 16 by nine. I think there's still some five by four. There's a 16 by 10 for the medical community, all the way up to a 49 inch widescreen display. There's hub displays that include RJ45, uh, have 90 watts of power delivery. In some cases, these monitors can eliminate a doubt. There are monitors that have built-in cameras, microphones, speakers, certified by teams for collaboration. There's full HD, there's QHD, there's UHD, there's an 8K display, and there's even a new 6K IPS black Thunderbolt display that I think the Apple community is gonna go absolutely crazy over. The monitor team has come up with a fantastic document that I'm gonna guess you haven't seen. I am gonna put a link to that down below, go out, Hit it, it's web-based, you can download it. It has information, 360 views, spec sheets, information about the technology. Instead of me talking about it, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is the commercial monitor family brochure. Like I said, fantastic document. It's gonna do a deep dive into every one of the monitors that Dell has. I'm not gonna do that deep dive. This is really just to give you the link and the information to go do those deep dives yourself. But what I am gonna do is, is kind of walk through this document real quick, point out a couple of things that I really like uh, and that I think you should dive deeper into. In this first slide, what this is gonna allow you to do is kind of jump from you know ultra sharp to video conferencing, to P-series, to E-series, let you jump where you wanna go really, really quickly. Here's where we jump into some of the technologies. A new one that you're gonna start seeing a lot about is IPS Black. What is IPS Black? It was developed by LG, actually, uh, licensed by Dell, and Dell was first to market them with these monitors. IPS Black really gives you those much deeper, richer blacks. Uh, you're gonna find these in our Ultra Sharp line. Uh, I am gonna put a link to a couple of other videos that my buddy Michael did, uh, specifically on IPS Black and some IPS Black monitors. I'm sure you've been hearing a lot about uh, the effects of blue light on your eyes. Look for a comfort view panel, something with low blue light, something that's not gonna have that effect on your eyes. Uh, this is a hardware-based solution, uh, not a software-based solution that might kind of tint the color. Uh, this does low blue light without compromising any of the color accuracy. I do wanna spend a couple minutes on Dell Display Manager. I absolutely love this application. If you have Dell monitors and a Dell laptop or even a Dell desktop, I recommend you go out and get Dell Display Manager. My primary use for this is the easier range. What it does is allows me to break my monitors up into a bunch of different sections. As you noticed earlier in the videos, I do have three screens, uh, four if you count my laptop, and I take each one of those displays and I break them down into uh, different quadrants so I can get different applications going in different places. For instance, one of my monitors I use only for teams, one big team up at the top and then four individual conversations going down below. Another cool feature of Dell Display Manager is the KVM. You are starting to see this in some of our higher end displays. Not only are they dual input, but they have a built-in KVM. And this is where you're gonna manage that, um, that application and manage those KVM controls. This is gonna allow you to move a mouse across the screen and the mouse will actually pick up the pixel and determine 
which computer that you're actually using. Really cool feature, really handy if you're running uh, multiple machines. Connectivity technology, whether it's Thunderbolt that's showing up in more displays, uh, DisplayPort 2.1, HDMI, or RJ45 built into some of the monitors. Really what I want to point out here is once we're getting into the monitors themselves, if you see a play button here, what that is going to do is it's going to take you to what I call, you know, kind of the hype page. This is that flashy video when they launch a specific display. Down here on learn more, this is actually going to bring up the full spec sheet for each of the monitors. And then this 360, if you see the 360 down here, what this is going to do is give you a spinner view. You're going to be able to manipulate the monitor, spin it around, look at it, look at the front, look at the back, look at the bottom. I uh, click on it. You can see where the ports are, how the ports are laid out and which uh, ports are sitting there. And again, you're going to see this for all the monitors in the lineup, everything from the 49 curve down to the 34 curve. Again, spinners down the bottom, full spec sheets under learn more. We have them here for video conference series, P series, E series, our portable monitors, our large format displays, and then this tab right here labeled accessories. We have a similar document to what you're looking at now for all the accessories. So if you wanna do a deep dive into docs, this is where you can find the information to do that deep dive into those docs. And then on the final screen, um, really goes into sustainability, uh, talking about some of the goals, the moonshot goals that Dell has really built around sustainability. I really hope you found that helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in the comments down below. I'll try to get to them and answer them. If you have any deep dive questions, I can answer those too. Or I may reach out to my buddy, Michael. No. Not that Michael, uh, Michael Ohanian. One of my peers has a fantastic YouTube channel. I'll link that down below also. If you are a commercial customer, uh, a state, a county, a higher ed, a K-12, please reach out to your Dell AE, your ISR or your OSS, and we can get you any more information that you might need. Thanks. Have a good one.